good morning and thank you for joining me. Rose Ward, StampersDelight.com. Grab your coffee, grab your tea, and come stamp with me. A couple of reminders, we have that great starter kit promotion going on where you can get all these added in-color items added to your starter kit. This ends May 31st. Trust me, you're going to want to grab this deal, and I'd love to have you on my team. Don't forget to sign up for the June Funfold class, which is with Mediterranean Blooms. You get a half of pack of the Designer Series paper. You get some ribbon, a package, a whole spool of ribbon, and you get the package of gems. You can add on the bundle if you don't already have it. Don't forget to go to the Stampers Delight shop and grab yourself a coffee mug or other stamping apparel. That's stampersdelightshop.com. Let's get started. <coughs> and as you can see, I already have my coffee. Mm, I need that this morning. Okay, so what I want to show you today real quick is, of course, Scrapbook Sunday. We got this beautiful album from Stampin' Up! on the incentive trip. You can see that they had all these cards in there already. And... I am in the process of putting this together. Excuse me. <coughs> Coffee went down the wrong way this morning. So as you can see, I have pictures already in here. And I will show you the final book when I am done. I just wanted to show you a couple things and, and do a couple of things here. So this was my lanyard. And I glued that down with um, our tear and tape. And I think I'm gonna grab some more tear and tape and try something else here. Where, let me grab that. It's just something I just thought of. And of course, the one thing I need, I don't have. <laughs> oh, it's early morning, what can I tell you? Okay. So I have some tear and tape here, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to also add this right here. You'll see why in a minute. Now, I do tend to use the 12 by 12 scrapbooks. Uh, we don't sell them anymore, but we will be getting some scrapbooking stuff in, um, getting back into scrapbooking in the fall here, so stay tuned for that. I'm just putting some tape all the way around here. And then I am going to grab this little, my take your pick tool, and I'm going to start pulling that off. Now this was ribbon that um, our gift was tied with, and I'm going to add that right here. And then I'm going to take off the rest of that. So again, you can see that I started my book. And I will, I, I have so many pictures, it's hard to decide which ones to do, which led me to what I'm going to do today. Because I wanted to use this album, of course. I'll cut that off right there. which is probably do a, um, I'm gonna end up doing a 12 by 12 album also. So now I have this, from the ribbon, and I have a couple more things that I wanna put on the front. I'm not gonna finish the front totally, but I'm gonna put this down. That is one of the cards that it came, came in the book. You could also cover the whole thing, but I kinda like that crumb cake. This is my badge. And for this, I don't know that the, I'm gonna use the uh, tear and tape again because my stamp and seal is not gonna go on that because it's shiny. We're gonna add this on there. So I'll be working on this for the next few weeks and I will be showing you each step of the way. 
Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Follow me on Facebook. Tell all your friends about my Scrapbook Sunday 101. Okay, we are going to put that there. Now, I should have, let's see, do I have a marker? That's what I'm looking for. Here we go. This is one of my old Stampin' Up markers. I'm going to see if this still works. Yes, it does. Okay, so this is when we used to carry the journaling pens. And I am going to put 20, 24 for now. I'm just going to put that right there. Smear it a little bit. I should have left it. Okay, that's all I'm doing on this today. I will be showing that more later. What I really wanted to do was I wanted to make a 12 by 12 page of some beautiful friends and family that I spent time with in Mexico. Not enough time. Okay. So I brought in um, the blue. I believe this is the Azure Afternoon. Sometimes my, my um, papers get a little mixed up. Again, we got these beautiful cards that were in the book. Now, let me just show you real quick, because I love the pockets. I love when you don't have to think of everything, and we sell this book, okay? We do have these books, and they are great for, you know, when you don't, you don't want to do a whole page. Now, these pieces were in here, and I'll show you if I still have one in here. Well, the Mexico one. But sometimes you want to put a full picture in there, you know, rather than cut them down. We also have some, I think it's in the back. There's two slotted ones like that, like this. But again, sometimes I want to use that whole space for a picture. So in that case, I took those pieces out. And I'm going to use those as matting for some pictures. So here are the beach the beach babes, <laughs> I should say, right? <clears throat> and here is my friend Donna and her daughter, Denny, from Australia. And we have Melissa and we have Michelle. I can't really see because it's uh, Cindy. There we go. Rose Coleman. We have Monica. We have Judy. And there is Tammy and me. So again, I'm not going to cut those. I'm going to add those just like that. So instead of matting them this way, I'm do just doing them off centered. Now this I could cut some of the, maybe I will, <laughs> cut some of that sand off. Make it just a little bit smaller. And then you see more of that beautiful paper. But I think I'm going to go this way. Actually, I could do it that way now. And this one, I'm just going to do off-centered like that. Here is my probably my favorite picture. This is my son and daughter-in-law when we were at the pool, just having a drink and relaxing. And this one, I'm going to put right here. That's how I want to do it. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my stamp and seal. Go ahead and add this. So I have that border. This one, now that I cut it down, I changed my mind. I could actually go this way. But I'm going to go this way. I think it really showcases the pictures this way. Again, these are the cards that came with it and very similar to our memories and more cards and, car and kits that are in the catalog. This one I am going to add this way. And 
this picture, I'm just going to get a little bit of that border. They also gave us some sticker sheets. That's where I got that other one from. And I can add to that. So let me see. There we go. There's some more stickers, which I'll be using in both albums. And the other thing that I picked up, and I love the Dollar Tree for this, they always have these little um, wooden elements. And I am going to use this. This was this one says memory. I'm going to grab my glue press from My Sweet Petunia. And that link will be below or is below. Whoop. And I'm going to add memory. I'm not even going to. You can paint this and color it if you want. I'm just going to put memory right there. And then I have friends because these are all my friends, new and old. I don't mean old, you know what I mean. <laughs> Just using the glue press here to add a little glue. This is for your liquid glue. These are refillable. You can take your Tombow and fill each one of those. Uh, fill this back up if you want. Or you can just buy the new one from My Sweet Petunia. I love this. I never used liquid glue as much as I do now. We're going to put friend right there. And then I have family. I'm going to go ahead and add some more glue to this one. Ooh, that came out way too fast. Let's clean that off. Press a little too hard with that one. All right. I just put a little more there. Okay. And family. Now, these two already have a color on them. They actually look like wood, which I thought was great because that goes with our um, country sweet. Would, would go great with that. So I might have to do a page with that soon. Okay. Now I have one of these. See that right up there? It says Hotel Escre. And I don't want to... I don't want to um, hide that, so I'm going to take a smaller sticker that they gave us that says Mexico, stamping up, and then let's see what else do I want to do. Maybe, let's see, add this guy right here, and again, one of these circles, I'm just going to add that right there. Hopefully I don't smear it this time. I am going to add the year. And we were there from April and May. So I'm just going to put that there. Let's see what else we have I might want to use. I might even just leave it that way. I'm not sure. Add some elements to it. All right, let's bring in these. I have the opal rounds. And I pick these out because they do have the blue and the clear and that yellow. And let's see. I'm going to go with, I think, a brighter. Let's go with this one. I'm going to add some elements here or some gems. Oh, that one's a little crooked. I wanted it right there. I think I might add some of these pieces. Let's see. That's too long. I don't think I want to add that one. How about this one? Let's see. That's what I like about playing with these. I can pull them off, see if I want to use it. And if I change my mind, I can put it back. But then I'm going to take this off. 
I can peel this off gently, I think. Let's try it. Yep. Put it right there. And then add some elements here. These are a great way to fill in spots if you don't have pictures to put in there. I actually will have more pictures to do in 12 by 12, but for today, this is what I'm doing. And then this one, I don't know, I'm gonna highlight this more. You know me, I love gems. For now, that is my page. I think I'm done with that one. Now, you know, I can always go back and add more, but I think this says it all. The memory of friends and family in Mexico. I hope you enjoyed this segment of Scrapbook Sunday 101. It doesn't have to be elaborate. Just get those pictures, get those memories on pages. And again, I will be following up and doing more of this, this um, book later on in the month or the Sundays to come. You can see all the goodies that we got. That was amazing, that cheese platter. More friends, my amigos, some amigos here. Again, my family. And you can see I still have a lot of places to put pictures, so I'm not done with this yet. Absolutely gorgeous place, oh my gosh. Absolutely lovely. And here's all the ones I didn't fill in yet. And I will probably be adding some more pictures back here. I have another one of Donna and I. And then there's Monica's husband, Rick. We're toasting to... Salute. Salute. All right. I gave it an Italian accent. <laughs> Salute. This is Rick and I toasting my husband, who, of course, wanted to go on this trip so bad. But I know he was watching us from heaven, and we had to do a shot of tequila for him. Right, Rick? And then there's all my buddies from Maui. And this was the last night. The show that they put on was amazing. So I will be doing more of this, and I will be showing that to you in the next couple of Sundays. So until then, keep on scrapbooking, scrapbookers. Bye.